Welcome. So I saw a tweet by Junglink uh, on Twitter, and you can see here that Junglink is posting uh, posted the screenshot. So it says asking Weedsit to break the XPL. I'm not technical, but this looks not good or whatever. Uh, so right, so you can see here right now he's posting a screenshot of the Live Net Explorer and whatever so you can see here at the beginning it says 2 out of 34 then it says 30, uh, which is okay and uh, then it shows the screenshot of one of the ledgers before uh where it is 17 out of 34 and usually if you uh, if you initially load the page you can see that um right so we're just waiting a few seconds on initial load it uh, might take some time uh, and initial load. So it now, for example, it shows all of them in the UNA and that all validators agreed here. But if you just do some multiple refreshes, however, there are cases where it can show at the beginning also one out of 34, one out of 34, three out of 34. Even though the consensus happens and all the ledgers are fine here, it is displaying the data wrong. So if I just do another refresh, so there are cases where that can happen. Uh, that it's just that the, 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 well, the display, more or less, is showing it incorrectly. So right now, you could also, again, you can see now it's 10 over 34. Even though all the 34 or 33 validators agreed, it's only showing 10 over 34. And then it could also say, right, so that, that there might be an issue or whatever. And you could also pause, for example, which would also lead to, so if you if I pause, and then at some point, wait, 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 and click on resume again, so then it fills up correctly. But however, there are also cases that the display, more or less, is a little bit buggy here. I just wanted to let you know that there are some cases where the display doesn't, well, work completely correctly. Also, if you lose the internet connection for a short while and afterwards connect, more or less, so that one looks good again. Uh, but like I said, if you've, uh, if you've w whatever, like, lose the internet connection or anything, maybe I'm just going to try to manipulate it here. If I'm pausing the network connection can i do this here quickly hide your else i'm just gonna quickly pause the video uh to manually do that all right so uh i quickly looked it up so um if also like i said another cause of error could be that the person for example has an unstable internet connection so whatever that some packets get lost uh then shows incorrect data if uh, for example i'm right now in a virtual box if uh, for example would quickly uh well let's say i'm losing my internet so my internet connection. So I'm just gonna disable that. So I've got the possibility of, right? So let's do that here. So now I just remove the connection. So it's saying that my that my Ethernet port is not connected. And now I'm gonna just try to reconnect here. So I'm gonna go again to network and connect. And now I just was able to stop it while it was loading more or less. So uh, so this was just more or less to simulate that uh, that I was uh, quickly losing some packets, and which also can lead to like missing uh, missing ledgers at least in this display, even though the XP ledger had no issue processing those, and also getting these uh, more or less like half uh, low, like ha if if the timing is good, then you also see that for example only half is um, half of the UNL validators um, accepted. Uh, so I can just try it one last time, just uh, if we go one more time to network and then define one last time. Oh yeah, now now disconnected it again. And if the timing is good, I'm going to go and get into network and connect. And I can see maybe I'm going to time it perfectly that it's going to be like a few confirmations only. Let's see. Yeah, now I also have another, well, let's see if it, that one loads. But now, for example, I've got a block here, it's empty, and there's one out of 34. So you can see here also delayed data. And uh, now you could all, one could also think like that um, the validator has issues there. Also, another qu quick remark there that uh, I'm not, so I assume that did you break the XPL, it's more or less a man is a joke, I guess. Uh, obviously, Vitsa, uh, well, is not uh, responsible for breaking anything uh, since he is just providing a client like any other wallet. So, like the Atomic Wallet or like Exodus. The sum wall is also just a client, uh, more or less submitting transactions for you to, for, to the XP ledger. So, uh, in meaning, like in the sense of you, you're still in the, you're still holding your own keys on your device, uh, but you're using uh, the application of XPL Labs, right? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, everything is thus far 
doing good. Uh, the only issues we're still facing is, as you might know, uh, the escalated fees. So if we just have a look at any of these ledgers here, you can see that the fees were escalated. So right now people are paying, for example, 0 0.00024 uh, um, XRP. And yeah, that's like the only thing that the valleys might, uh, well, that the fee might get de-escalated at some point again. But yeah, right. So, and also one more time to, uh, to uh, well, more or less tell you why, for example, XMP Toolkit is not working. So all these, so all these websites are um, defining the tra transaction fees for you. So usually 12 drops were all sufficient. And some applications in the web were, or, were ha have these fees hard-coded, or also the sum app first, that they say, yeah, we're going to try 12 drops and then submit it. But with escalated fees, the extra pleasure, uh, if the fees are not high enough, then they are being placed into a queue. But the queue can be full. If the queue is full, then it's not even possible to place the transaction into queue. And then it's just saying, nope, we, well, uh, uh, whatever, the tell, you get the tell code, tell uh, queue, could not submit queue full or something like that. So we can quickly look up the XOPL error co codes. So if we just quickly go to that one here, XOPL, oh no. Can use my mouse. Damn it! I must have disabled it. I guess. Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Now it seems to work. Cool. Right. If we go now to exploit.org and go to the error codes, what is it? The, the, the tail codes, I think. And in tail codes, yeah, there's the tail code, and yeah, up there is the definition of what tail again means. So I always forget that. But if we go down there, Q full. There's the Q. Full, I think, yeah. Tell, uh, tell ca cannot queue full. Yeah, right. So that's one you might have read in the last days a uh, few times, and uh, that's more or less what it means. All right. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to explain to you how this tool works. So like I said, this tool is not entire the entire truth, more or less. It tries to plug in, so well, quote unquote, plug in, and also uh, more or less just view the consensus. Uh, which it does, but it can be sometimes buggy and also depending on your own uh, internet connection, it could it could cut off at certain parts. Uh, like I said, on the initial page load, um, it is uh, already getting in ledgers, even though it's showing that, oh no, there are only 3 out of 34, which is, like I said, not true. So even though there are already something's loaded there uh, and whatever, but yeah, that's just some side info on the entire thing. All right, then thanks for watching and see you in the next video. All right, and one last addition. So there also, uh, he's mentioning here, I don't know about that, looks odd. And uh, if you have a look at that, 68085480, you can look up every ledger yourself. So I'm right now looked it up here next to PScan, and I've got here a ledger 68085480. And you can see that all these transactions were in that ledger. Therefore, meaning that everything is fine, um, right? So please, very important to interpret the data correctly. And yeah, I, I know it, it's difficult, like having all these different data feeds, uh, but it's, yeah, like I said, uh, I, I'm gonna look at one, so just so you believe me, I'm gonna look up another one. Um, is there anything else in there? 680, yeah, 68085479, let's use the one before. So 68085479, uh, I could also just click on the back button here, but I'm just going to enter it here again. 68085479 and 68085479. Right, okay. So I'll repeat it often enough. You can see that ledger is fine as well. Okay, so very important. Uh, you can you can look it up. So always, it's you know this always old saying: uh, don't trust, verify, and I think that applies here perfectly. Um, right. So I hope I was able to clear all the all the whatever all the confusion in regards to the app. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And now finally, uh, see you in the next video.